Okay, so I'm doing new patient exams today, and obviously one thing that I stress in young children is to break or eliminate habits. So this is young Frankie. Uh, Frankie is eight years old, okay? And Frankie likes sucking her thumb, right? Can, can you show how, what you do with your thumb? Yep, okay. And she mainly does that as a comfort <laughs> thing. Um, okay, thank you. But what it's doing, actually, can you put your thumb back in and, and, and then, yeah, okay, now just now smile again with your thumb in so we can see where it is. Now, if you can see that, that's actually pushing the palate up. Thank you. And if you look at the palate, just say, ah. Uh, if you look at the palate, you can see how narrow it is. So therefore, we have no room for the teeth. We almost have like a double layer of teeth. So that's one problem. But the problem that goes with thumb sucking, even if the child was to stop today, is the associated tongue posture. Now, have a look at um, Frankie's tongue. Bite together, Frankie. Thank you. And just swallow for me. Swallow. Look what she does. Do it again, Frankie. Swallow. Yeah, that's a classic tongue thrust, right? Frankie, try and say the word Mississippi for me. Mississippi. Yeah, so you can see articulation and position of tongue is in a downward forward position. It should be in an upward position. So my goal uh, as an orthodontist is number one, to widen the palate. And as I widen the palate, I put a little crib in there. So when Frankie wants to put a thumb in, she can't, right? So I break the habit, I widen the jaw. That takes about four or five months, right? Once I've got the room, then the expander comes out and then Frankie does some tongue exercises, which is what's called oral myology. And the oral myology encourages the tongue to sit up. It becomes the retainer of the expander and it actually then curves the tongue thrust. And then the last thing, bite together for me. Thank you, good. The last thing we want to discuss is the actual open bite. So if I widen the palate and put the tongue up, then in theory, those teeth should meet together naturally. But if they don't, what I can do very simply is put four little braces here and there, what we call partial braces, and that would close the open bite. But have a look at the cross bite. So bite together, the term cross bite means that the upper jaw sits inside the lower jaw. And uh, that's part and parcel, I feel, of the thumb sucking problem, right? So, um, so the take home message is, if you have a child that sucks their thumb, you've got to try and break that habit as soon as possible. You can break that habit before the eruption of the incisor teeth. There can be some spontaneous correction. If not, then an orthodontist would get involved to help your child to break the thumb sucking habit and to widen the palate so that we don't have the dental crowding problems and the associated poor uh, tongue thrust, uh, etc. So it's a three way problem. Number one, the habit, eliminate it. Number two, lack of room for the teeth, widen the palate. Number three, change the tongue position. And if you can do those three before the eruption of the adult canines, it minimizes the need for major orthodontic work uh, later. When I graduated uh, years ago, I would never treat children this young. I would say to the parent, okay, there's still baby teeth, let's wait till you lose those. The child would then appear with these fangs stuck up there, the high canines, which you can see there, there's no room for them. And then I would extract four teeth, two in the top, two in the bottom. Taking the teeth out makes the jaw narrower. So I'm treating the symptom, which is the crowding. I'm not treating the cause, which is the thumb sucking in the narrow palate. So the way I do orthodontics is drastically change from just straightening the teeth uh, uh, to looking at the development of the jaw, the speech, the breathing, uh, etc. So that's just a, a quick summary on what can be done when a child is still sucking the thumb. Thank you very much, Frankie, for your help.